Today, I'm gonna to show you a portrait photography trick that is so simple, all you have to do is open the door. Hey guys, I'm Raphael, and welcome to the channel. You know when someone asks you to take their portrait because you take such great photos, but you're not set up for it, or even in the mindset to grab that photo? And you know that their expectation is high to look as good as all the other people that you photographed. But it's the middle of the day, the light outside is terrible, and the indoor light is equally as great. Photography literally translates to drawing with light. And photographers, we are taught to paint with light. We're light painters. Too many times we think photography requires lights, setup, modifiers, bouncers, reflectors, the right time of day, golden hour, nice weather, scouting for the right location, and the list can go on and on. And we think that it can take a couple of hours to find the right shot. Well, what happens when you have five minutes to grab a shot and all you have is your camera? Would you be able to capture a great shot? Today, I'm gonna to show you one simple trick to get a photo in almost any location during the harshest light with no setup time and no lights. When I was first starting out, I learned this simple setup from an actor friend who asked for a new headshot. I said I didn't have any lights and they said, no problem. And they showed me a setup that another photographer used with no gear. It's really a portrait or headshot trick that works so well. The main idea is to use the front door or any outside doorway as your main source of light and to make sure that you're not in direct sunlight. The subject stands just a few feet inside the doorway and you stand outside shooting in. The light bounces naturally all around creating this giant soft beauty light. It really doesn't matter what lens you have but the best lens is a 50 mil, 85, 100 or longer but a 35 will work just as well. And the faster the lens, the better this effect will work because the depth of field helps enhance the effect, but it's not necessary. Even with a messy garage with a shallow depth of field and the focus right on the model, it just becomes texture in the background. The main magic on why it works, being just out of direct sunlight, it creates a giant softbox that is flagged off and the inverse square light fall off, the brightest thing in the shot will be the subject. It creates this natural vignette. It's essentially a giant natural beauty light. I recreated a 3D model to show how it's essentially working and how it emulates lighting on the subject. And because the light falls off so quickly, it creates a high contrast ratio between the face and the background, really pulling viewers focus on the subject. The only things that you really need to be aware of is if it is midday and it's really bright, the model still may find it hard to keep from squinting. So in this case, have them keep their eyes closed till right before you snap the photo or have them move further back into the room. But keep in mind not to block the light source too much. The other thing is to watch out for any solid colors that may cast light onto the subject. Neutral colors are the best. And because this is a single light source, there is no backlight for separation from the background. But again, we're trying to do it with no setup and no lights. The main reason I suggest using the front door, the depth that you're able to get from the front door and the fall off of the light is the best at that location. Things to make sure you look out for. Make sure you turn off all the lights indoors to create that higher contrast ratio. You can draw the blinds and the drapes and just work with what you have in the scene. So look through your lens and make sure there isn't anything distracting that you can see. If you have a faster and longer lens, none of that will really matter and it'll just become texture in the background. Once you grab a few different photos, you can finesse it in post and really draw the eye where you want with cropping and playing with the shadows, highlights, gradients, and tones in Lightroom. These are just a few examples of photos I've taken in the past few months using this technique. This is a super simple trick to grab really nice photos with nearly no setup or lights. This concept works really well with street photography, finding an area that is just outside of the sunlight and that falls into darker shadows. So a recap, use the door as your main light source, turn off all the lights behind. The longer the lens you can use and the faster the lens, the better the focus will be on the face. Try to avoid any kind of color cast that could come from the location that you're at. Play with the cropping and the edit in Lightroom and you're gonna be able to create some amazing photos. And this trick really works regardless of the lighting condition outside. It could be cloudy, sunny, raining, it really doesn't matter because the focus really comes down to the subject and the way the camera lens is looking. 
It's one of my favorite ways to grab quick, awesome photos in almost any location, regardless of the time of day, the lighting conditions outside. Almost every location has this beauty light built into it, and I love utilizing it every single time. Next time you're out and about with your camera, give this technique a try and see what you can come up with. That's it. Let me know if you guys are going to try this technique out or if you've used something similar. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. As always, thanks for watching. If you like these kind of videos, make sure you give me a big thumbs up. It lets YouTube know to share this video. Subscribe. I'm Raphael. I'll talk to you soon. Bye for now.